dear students today we are starting the third module in this module we will learn about the characterization of nanostructures and the tools used for this characterization the nanoparticles can be characterized by several methods like x ray diffraction technique uv absorption photoluminescent spectroscopy etc anyway in order to get a magnified images magnified images of microstructures we can use microscopes commonly used microscopes are of optical and electron microscope today session we will discuss about optical microscopes generally the optical microscopes they are of two types reflected microscope and transmission microscope first we can see the reflected light microscope it is used for imaging opaque samples like metals here the image is created based on the gathering of reflected light rays this is the schematic diagram in order to illuminate the sample a light source can be used for example tungsten halogen lamp it has very high intensity light intensity then followed by a condenser lens it is used to focus the light rays the lens that faces the object it is called the objective lens and this is a half silvered mirror that is about the half of the light striking on the glass it will pass us through it and the other half it is reflected so these light rays that is from the condenser lens will be reflected to the objective lens and these rays will be focused to the specimen and then the reflected rays from the object that will be collected by the objective lens and from the intersection of these rays a primary image or an intermediate image is formed then another lens that is projector lens it is used to magnify the final image the focus can be adjusted and at the intersecting point we will get a magnified image and please note the specimen may be polished we will get good reflection and we will get a better image next type is transmission optical microscope this is the schematic diagram here the image is created from the transmitted light in the previous one we have created the image from the reflected light and this is the light source and the condenser lens it will direct the light rays to the specimen then some amount of light that will pass through the sample undisturbed and this is called the direct light and some of the light that passes through the specimen it is deviated that means they are diffracted with a phase change of 180 degree then this objective lens it will collect these waves and focus on to this point the interference of these two waves it gives an image at this point and this is called the intermediate image and the projector lens that can be used to magnify the image and we will get the final one if we can collect more number of refracted waves then the image will be more more accurate the process behind this optical microscope it is very simple but the control over the image formation is very limited okay in the next class we can discuss about electron microscopes okay thank you